Good morning, Lombard family. It is Thursday, February 24th, and it's the day we call Thankful Thursday. I'll keep it brief today, so we'll kick off Thankful Thursday today with a prompt. What is a gift, a talent, or a quality that you have that you are most thankful for? Wow, it's difficult sometimes to celebrate who we are as individuals, but it's so important to really think about those gifts and those talents that we offer the world every single day, or maybe sometimes we forget to offer it because we forget that's one of our greatest qualities or greatest talents. And so I hope all of you take some time to really think about that because I get to witness those qualities and talents every single day from our students and staff. But I will model it because that is very difficult to think about ourselves and to talk about ourselves. My quality that I am most thankful for is my work ethic. What's yours? We do not have any birthdays today, but let's hear what's on the lunch menu for today. On the lunch menu for today, it's cheese ravioli with your choice of marinara sauce, a breadstick, sliced pears, and carrots, and your choice of white or chocolate milk. I started thinking, and so students, I'll want your feedback. Would you rather I do the lunch that would be so like today, I would do tomorrow's lunch uh, to try to help you make a decision uh, if you would like hot lunch. So obviously I always do the day that we are currently on, uh, but I thought that'd be great feedback just so I know because we want our announcements to be um, meaningful and we want to make sure that whatever we have on it could help some of you make decisions. So um, give me some feedback on that if you'd rather have uh, the lunch uh, for the next day uh, to help you make that decision. Now let's get some Lombard shout outs in today. We've got some shout outs. Let's kick off with Mara Frisk giving a shout out to Maddie Burdison for being such a great friend. Devante McGarry giving a shout out to Mr. Biddle for being a great PE teacher. Gabriella Storga for Miss Halinga, you're a great social studies teacher. I wanted to thank the individual who gave me a shout out. Um, it caught my attention um, on that Google form and it truly brightened my day. So thank you. Davion Jones, a shout out uh, for Mrs. Rogers for being such a nice teacher. Thank you students for spreading kindness and staff. A lot of those students, again, they are using that uh, shout out form and writing all those uh, kind words about staff and students. So it's great to see that. Uh, I hope we can continue to make that contagious. Uh, let's just go ahead and head on over to our behavior expectation uh, just to make sure that our students understand the importance of that expectation. I should be able to say, what's our behavior expectation? Our students should be able to share what it is this week. But I also want to make sure that I am encouraging and reminding students that when you are in the cafeteria in the morning and the servery, our, our lunchroom area opens up, that's the time that you should be getting your breakfast. We have several students that are going upstairs, uh, they socialize a little bit and then they come down and then they're late for homeroom. So again, the expectation is when you get there and that cafeteria opens up, that is the time for you to get your breakfast and then um, you will have it for homeroom instead of being late. Uh, at this time, I think it would be a great discussion on the importance of being on time. Students, why is it important to be on time? And who do you impact or affect when you are not on time? Thank you, Lombard students, for being on our team and making sure that we commit to being on time every single class period. Again, staff, thank you for being patient and understanding, but we now are in our third uh, quarter and it's important for our students to understand that you need to be on time. 
There are obviously going to be consequences for students that continue to struggle. I know staff, you started to communicate those uh, situations to the office staff. Um, and again, we will make sure families are aware um, of those tardies. It's important to be on time. Again, our prefix of the week is photo. Uh, I already saw some down by Mrs. Goldbrust's room. She started to get her list going of words that have that prefix. I hope everyone has a terrific Thursday. And again, make sure you celebrate who you are. Make sure you give thanks to yourself. And that's difficult to do. I hope again you have a great day. And Zephyrus, you all have the ability to be great. Most of the time, it's within our choices. So make great choices today. Today is a new day, and then I promise to work hard, be kind, so bright, and celebrate your life.